In this example, I'd like to look at determining an approximate solution for the buckling load for a beam that's supported by two lateral spring supports. So we'll give the spring supports a stiffness K in this system. So they both, we'll take them both to be the same, and we'd like to come up with an approximate solution. And we'll assume that the values of K are rel modestly weak, so we're going to, the beam is essentially going to buckle into this form. So it's going to look like an Euler buckling mode, but it's going to be affected by these two spring constants here. So, and the way we'll do this was we'll look at the potential energy of the system, which is a function of the deflection. So it includes the strain energy of bending. And then it also has the strain energy of these two springs, so 1 half K, so V at L over 4 squared plus one half k the deflection at three l over four and then we also have the potential load so minus p the integral is zero to l one half v prime squared dx so this is my potential energy and what we're going to go ahead and do is we'll assume that that we have a form for v and let's just go ahead and we'll use a cosine so we'll say v is some constant sine of pi x over 2 and we'll go ahead and try and determine the value p at which the system will buckle approximately into this form. So we're going to need to know the first derivative here which is going to be pi over l, that's an l there, c cosine pi x over l and the second derivative is going to be minus pi over l squared c sine pi x over l. So we're going to take these terms here and we're going to plug them into the potential energy of the system. So if we do that, then we can write the potential energy strictly as a function of the constant c and what we'll find is that we have from the first term one half ei c squared times pi over l to the 4 L over 2 so we're going to when we integrate sine squared we simply get L over 2 and then we'll have from the first spring we'll have a plus 1 half K C squared times 1 half so evaluating sine squared at the quarter point is going to give me 1 half and then I'll also have a plus 1 half K C squared 1 half from evaluating sine at the three-quarter point and then we have lastly the contribution from the load one-half p pi over l squared l over 2 c squared so l over 2 again from integrating cosine squared from 0 to l in this case here so the equilibrium equations come by taking the derivative of pi with respect to c set them equal to 0 and so if we do this I can factor out a C from all the terms times EI pi over L to the fourth times L over 2 plus K over 2 plus K over 2 minus P pi over L squared L over 2 and that's all equal to 0 and we're looking for the condition on the load at which we can have a non-zero C and so in this case here if I solve for P I'll find that P is equal to pi squared EI over L squared so the Euler load plus 2 KL over pi squared so that's the modification due to the two lateral spring supports so this gives me my critical load